Sin Productions comes a space opera adventure like no other. Bubba Stargon and the Uranus Patrol! Ship's Law, Captain Bubba Stargon reporting. Well, repairs are still underway on both the Edsel and, of course, the Uranus Station, uh, where we figured out a way to uh, hook up the debris and reconstruct the station. Won't be quite the same it was, but due to the war, supplies are limited, and uh, shipments of new supplies, well, are a bit erratic on schedule, so we're going to have to make do. But so far, so good. But in the meantime, most of our operations are still having to be run out of some space that we seized at the local Astro Cosmo Star Stop. And the manager is dealing with it. I can tell he's annoyed, but hey. It's wartime, you know. So, here we are. Meanwhile, of course, Dr. Saris Lear is already starting preliminary work on his top secret project. And, uh, but, of course, can't get that out of the way until we can get the new station up and running so he can have a more secure environment to do stuff that's, you know, secret and, uh, top priority and whatnot. Now, in the meantime, uh, we were supposed to check in with the uh, Outer Rim uh, Moon Base, Moon Base Miranda, but uh, so far they're uh, two days late on the report, so uh, somebody had to head over there and check it out, so Mr. Spot and Deputy Polyp uh, took a shuttle out there, and uh, we should be hearing back from them any time now, so uh, everything's looking on the up and up, and uh, on a personal note... I'm still slamming that green ass of Lieutenant Ludi. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I do mean green. I mean, she's green through and through. And a shaver. So, uh, yeah, yeah that's cool. It's dark out there. Um, what is it, Butsy? Uh, well, you know, there's been quite a few fluctuations in life support and artificial gravity on the old station. And it's causing a lot of problems. So, uh, until we can finally nail it down, we thought in the meantime, I could probably, uh, work out a, an alarm array that could warn people that they're about to lose gravity so they could brace for it. Yeah, well, sounds good. Hop to it. Oh, oh, well, I, I don't think I have the necessary technical skills to, to put it together. And with, uh, Deputy Polyp on the Miranda mission, I don't have anyone to consult with on it that's knowledgeable in those details. So I thought maybe I could get a chance to meet with Dr. Saris Lear and run it by him. Yeah, I'm sorry, Butsy, but, uh, no can do. You see, uh, Dr. Lear is all locked up on his own little top-secret project, and, uh, so, yeah, he doesn't want to be interfered with, so, uh... Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm sorry, uh, you know, just have to try to work it out with, uh, PAL 9000 and, uh, wait for her when oh. Polyp returns, uh, yeah, oh, to get busy uh, on that. well, Captain, perhaps if Dr. Lear had an assistant, yeah. he could help things along, speed up his preliminary project, yeah. and give him time to, uh, help out Budsy with hers. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense to me, Looty baby, but, uh... <laughs> Uh, Dr. Lear said he didn't want to be interfered with. You know, the only one he allows to assist him is that stupid talking cat, Floyd. So, uh, now nah, I'm sorry, uh, Ludi. Nobody's getting in there. Uh, oh, doctor's gee, orders, really so terrible. to speak. terrible. I mean, it's going to make it really tough. But I guess things are just going to have to be unexpectedly bouncy around the old station for a while. Especially bouncy for you, Butsy, right? You know, Bubba... That's inappropriate behavior. Now, come on, Looty. Uh, Jeez. Bubba. Lighten up, will ya? We're out here in the Damn middle it. of nowhere, hanging around Uranus, with a war going on. Well... A little levity doesn't hurt. Come on, come on. Don't be so jealous. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Say, is always... uh, Spot uh, reported uh, in yet? No, no. Not yet. Well, let me know when he checks in. Uh, I'm going to leave you in charge of the control room and head on down to sick bay and see if uh, Booze has managed to sleep off his hangover by now. Oh, God. Uh, so, uh, catch you later, Ludie. Yeah. Yeah, sure, Captain. Meanwhile, far out in the outer rims of the orbit of Uranus, we come to the moon Miranda, where... A small shuttlecraft is quickly approaching the area and putting itself in orbit around the moon. And within said shuttlecraft, we find Mr. Sput and Deputy Pollock. Scans show they still have power, but 
The life support systems are down. Mm, the communication beacon is still offline. Yeah, and uh, not picking up any biorhythms whatsoever. Something really awful must have happened down there. Yes, but we can't determine that unless we go down there ourselves. Right, setting up landing procedure uh, now. No, 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 no. We're oh. not going to land the craft down there. It's too dangerous. If this could be the result of an enemy attack, oh. they could be waiting to take the shuttle. Well, and use it say. to infiltrate the Uranus station. No, no, we can't allow that. We'll have to zap down. Pal 9000. Yes, Deputy sir. Polyp and I will be zapping down to Moon Base. You will keep constant monitoring of our situation. If we run into any trouble, you can zap us back immediately. Yes, sir. Preparing necessary calculations for computation for teleport chamber now. And so, Mr. Spot and Deputy Polyp zap down to Miranda Base. And once they materialize within the confines of said Miranda Base... Oh, oh, man. Steady, Polyp. Sorry, sir. Uh, every time I... Use the teleport to zap anywhere. It conjures up the memories of what happened when I had that debris shoved up my ass. Well, that's, I guess, understandable, Bob. Yeah, uh, it makes my rectum go into convulsions. Yeah. Uh, I didn't need to know about that little detail, Deputy uh, yeah. Bob. Holy what? shit! What is it? Oh, good lord. Oh, man, they're all frozen to death. What the hell happened? I guess when the life support went down, the freezing temperatures of Miranda overtook them, but, but why didn't they try to escape? I don't know, Polyp. Based on what I'm seeing here, it appears the crew killed each other. Oh, man. Yeah, that... that... that woman is, like, biting that man's crotch. And stranger still, notice his testicles on the size of cantaloupes. Whoa. What the hell's going on at Moon Base Miranda? Well, you'll just have to tune in to the next exciting episode of Bubba Stargon and the Uranus Patrol! Bubba Stargon and the Uranus Patrol is written and performed by me, Douglas Nelson, with music provided by Kevin McLeod and other public domain sources. <laughs>